Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a what's in my backpack video. Woo! I'm very excited to show you all what's inside. Um, a couple things before I begin. Um, it's 2015. Woohoo! I already made like two videos this year, but like I figured I would just talk about it for a second because I didn't really talk about the new year. And thank you guys for everything. Um, today actually marks my one year anniversary on YouTube, so that's pretty exciting. Um, I am really happy with how my channel's going. It's really getting in a better direction, and I'm really happy about that. I didn't make my YouTube channel to get subscribers. I don't have as much subscribers as most people do in a year because, I mean, that's not the reason why I joined. I joined to have a good time and to do something new, and that's what I've been doing, and I've been loving it. So, I hope you guys have been loving my channel. It's been a blast. This whole year just flew by, and what the heck? It's already 2015. Like, okay, anyway, enough, like, new year, new me rambling. Some more things about uploading. I think I'll be uploading probably twice a week for the next, like, few months and over the summer because... I finished high school applications, like we're basically not even doing anything in school, we have like barely any homework or projects due, so I think maybe like February, like end of January, depending on when midterms fall, um, I'm going to probably be able to upload like twice a week, so I'll make a rule, whenever I can upload on a Wednesday or Thursday, I will, because I really like filming during the weeks, because I have a lot of free time now. Before I didn't, which is why I only uploaded once a week. But now that I have more free time, I feel like I can upload more often. So, yeah, uploading's changing. Um, I've changed a lot in a year. But that was the longest intro, so we're just going to get started. So, yes, if you forgot what this video is even about, I'm going to be showing you guys what's inside the backpack. So, let's get started. Okay, first thing is first. Where the heck is my backpack from, and what does it even look like? So, this is it. It's really heavy right now, but um, it is just this light pink, like, faux leather material on the back. It just looks like this. I really love it. It's from Urban Outfitters. Um, I got it way back in August. I remember when I got one, one last year, it was pretty new. This is pretty old, but it's still in really good condition, which I'm super happy about. And if you don't want to go out and buy it at Urban Outfitters, it's from the brand Akote. I'm going to, like, put it right here because I'm not really sure how to pronounce it or whatever. But yeah, it's from that brand. So, let's start with the pocket. So there's two pockets here, one pocket here, and then the main, you know, whole shebang thing, which I'll show you. So I'm going to start with the two pockets in the front. First thing, on the left side pocket, I have my phone. And my phone case is from Wildflower Cases. I love it. My best friend and I got them for each other this Christmas, and I am in love with it. Oh, it's just so cute. It just has this pink floral pattern with the silver studs, and I just have the iPhone 5S. I did a what's in my iPhone in the fall. Literally nothing has changed about my phone. I don't, like, reorganize it, so I'll link that down below if you're interested. Next thing I have is my Skinny Emergency Kit, and I love this so much. I recently got it, and it's so cool. It comes with, like, a mirror and the flap thing, and then all of these things. So there's, like, a breath freshener, wipes, there's um, mouthwash, things like that. There's Advil in here. There is hairspray, a nail file, like, bobby pins. There's literally everything you'll ever need at school in this bag. And I'm always, like, needing a hair tie or needing to put my hair back or something. So this is actually my best friend at school. So that's all that's in the left pocket. Now moving on to this pocket. I think I only have two things in here. But the first thing I have is just a hand sanitizer. And this is the Snow Kiss Berry Hand Sanitizer from Bath & Body Works. You're going to need one of these because, you know, the germs be stanking up the whole place. By the way, don't touch doorknobs because apparently those are really bad. Why do they even tell you that? All right. Fun fact of the day. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Next, I don't know what these are. Oh, these are my headphones. I just have a pair of little headphones in here for when I'm walking to school. So, handy. And then, oh hair tie just flew up, but I always keep a hair tie in my bag, and then I have this EOS lip balm, and I think this is the Honeydew Honeysuckle one, and it smells so nice, it's just really refreshing, and it's great to have a lip balm at school, because at least my lips get really dry, and if you have a friend whose lip get really, really dry, I'm um, sorry, I can't talk, but um, they can just like take their finger and swipe it around the edge and use it, so, you know, lip balm, you'll be everyone's lifesaver. Alright, now onto this flap thing that's like right here, I'll show you, it's like that, so I have no idea what's in here. We're just going to go through it. I have a pair of scissors. Oh, okay. I don't, um, I have an expo marker because there's always teachers at my school needing them and I always just pull it out and I'm like, the saber, but I don't get extra points on tests. I just give them a marker and then they forget to give it back to me. Anyways, 
I have a bunch of paper. We've got some Spanish flashcards. We've got, I think this is a midterm review sheet, so we're going to keep that. Um, more random sheets of paper. Yeah, it's basically just paper and flashcards in there, so that's not very interesting. But now, this is where it all, like, changes. This is where the interesting part gets. Let's go inside. Let's see what's inside this big pocket. All right. First off, I have my pencil case, and this is actually a makeup brand from the same brand, Akote. Once again, I'll put it right here. In my bag and this pencil case, I will leave a link to down below if you're interested in buying them. But I really love this. It's like, I think, yeah, it's definitely fake leather, but like, I don't know if you can tell, it has like little diamond decoration things on it, but yeah. I like it, super roomy, and if you're wondering what I keep inside here, I have like a bunch of colored pens and highlighters, a stapler, and I have one pencil. That's it. I have no pens. It's already January and I've like run out of everything. I don't... Please help. If you have any extra pencils, just hand them to me. Next I have the book I'm currently reading, and this is Nothing But The Truth by Avi. It's a documentary novel. You know, this is what it looks like. Um, it's a really great book. I'm almost done. I have like 10 pages left or so, but it is amazing. I definitely recommend it. It is so funny, and it's like in the format of a documentary novel. So there's like transcripts, conversations, things like that. And I really love it, and it won like the Newbery Medal or whatever. So this is a great book, and I've been highly enjoying this. Next I have my planner, and this is my friend. Um, this is from Barnes & Noble, I think, and I really love it. This is what it looks like. I literally don't, like, write anything in here. I've just been forgetting to recently because we've had, like, no homework. Because I have, like, a bunch of important dates coming up, and I would write them um, on the side here, and then I would have, like, homework right here. But since we've had, like, nothing, I've been forgetting to write everything down. But when I get, like, more organized, this is great. It has, like, the dates here, and then you can, like, write notes on the side. So I really love this, and it is a great investment. If you're thinking about getting a planner, go do it. It is fabulous. Next thing I have in here is my iPad, and I just have the black one. It looks like this. Everyone in our school gets one. I think it's like 6th to 8th grade, and I'm completely grateful for this. I'm not trying to brag about it or anything. I'm just showing you guys what's inside. So we, like, use it to take notes. Um, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys how adorable my background is right now. It's literally like a wiener dog with mustard on it. I have a problem, but yeah, I just have, like, school apps, so it's kind of boring. There's, like, we use Notability to take notes, and... Google Drive and things like that, but that's where I take all of my notes, which is actually really handy because I don't have to take notebooks and textbooks everywhere, so, yeah. Then I have a random green folder because I didn't want to lose an assignment, so have that. And then lastly, this is the heaviest thing in my bag, and this is my folder. Wow, this is huge. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I, like, keep so many papers in here. I just have a section for, like, permission slips and things, social studies, math, science, Spanish, English, and religion, because I do go to Catholic school, if you were wondering. But, yeah, I have a lot of things in here. Our math teacher grades our homework, so I keep all of it in here, because I keep forgetting to put it in the handy-dandy little, like, organizer I have for all my tests. I'm just too lazy to do that, to be honest. So it just stays in here, and it looks like I'm hoarding papers. I promise I'm not. These are probably important. So yeah, that's everything in my backpack. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Th sorry if this is a little bit all over the place. I was just feeling super happy and hyper today. So yeah, um, I hope you all enjoyed this. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to. It's completely optional. You know, do whatever floats your boat, man. But if you did one of these, let me know. I will go watch it because I'm very intrigued to see what's in people's bags. I have a lot of random stuff. Like at the bottom, there's like some crumbs and hair ties and stuff. So we're just going to not display that on the internet for now. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I will see you very soon in my next one. Please leave requests for videos down below. I was thinking of doing like a DIY winter room decor video because those are pretty cool and very requested. So yeah, anything you'd like to see, let me know down below, and I will be sure to do it for you guys. So I love you all so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys!